Hello everyone, welcome to Catherine's ESL Classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to have a quiz. Remember my last lesson on homographs, homonyms, and homophones? Well, let's get started. So I'm going to just review it briefly. As you notice here, homophone, same sound, different meaning. And to keep things simple, we're just going to keep it this way. But sometimes a homophone can also be a homonym. A homograph is the same spelling, but different meaning. And as you notice here, a homograph can also be a homonym. And a homonym is the same spelling, same sound, and different meaning. But a homonym can also share the same as a homophone and a homograph. But that's not what's important today. What's important is for you to understand how to use the words in spelling and to understand the vocabulary and how to use it in a sentence. So as we notice, there's a quiz, so let's get started. Go. So we're going to choose from the words given to complete the sentence. These sound the same here and here, but what do they mean? Well, let's look at the sentence. I could blank what they said. I couldn't hear what they said. So which is the correct word? Here, H-E-A-R. Did you get it? Congratulations if you did. They forgot to take their books. So which is the correct spelling? They sound the same, but which is the correct spelling? They forgot to take their books. There, this is possessive, T-H-E-I-R. Venison is the meat from a deer, okay? So this is the animal. Venison is the meat from a deer. Is it D-E-E-R or is it D-E-A-R? D-E-E-R, did you get it? They live by the sea, okay? They live by the sea which is the spelling, S-E-A or S-E-E? -E? S-E-A, they live by the sea. He tried to steal her handbag, which is the correct spelling. S-T-E-A-L, he tried to steal her handbag. I hope the weather is better tomorrow. Is it W-E-A-T-H-E-R or is it W-H-E-T-H-E-R? W-E-A-T-H-E-R, did you get it? He was a medieval knight in shining armor. So here's the knight. Knight, N-I-G-H-T, or K-N-I-G-H-T. He was a medieval knight in shining armor. It's K-N-I-G-H-T, okay? This one is night for nighttime. He works on a huge building site in the town center. Okay, so this is the site. He works there, it's in construction. So is it S-I-T-E or is it S-I-G-H-T? Which one? S-I-T-E. The children threw snowballs at each other. 
is a T H R O U G H or is it T H R E W? Which one? T H R E W. Did you get it? They didn't warn us of the danger. Uh oh. Okay. They didn't warn us of the danger. So as you can see, these are sharks and the woman's in the water. Which one would it be? W-O-R-N or W-A-R-N? W-A-R-N. This one, W-O-R-N, is worn clothing. I had worn this scarf yesterday. This is the time that you would use this word. Okay, worn is the past tense for wear. I wear my clothes. Okay, I know this was a little tricky, so I wanted to explain this to you. I hope you got it. The children had to read aloud. Aloud, aloud. Which one? A-L-O-U-D. The children had to read aloud. This one, A-L-L-O-W-E-D, is I allow the children to read, meaning I give them permission, okay? That's this word. If I'm giving someone permission, this would be allow, A-L-L-O-W. Allowed means you're speaking out loud, okay? Did you get it? Congratulations if you did. They reserved a suite at the Hilton. Is it S-W-E-E-T or is it S-U-I-T-E? Which one? S-U-I-T-E. So a suite is very fancy room. It's usually very big. Usually has two or three bedrooms and like a living room and kitchen area, okay? They reserved a suite at the Hilton. This one, S-W-E-E-T, is like candy. The candy is sweet. That would be S-W-E-E-T. Did you get it? Congratulations if you did. This one's a little tricky too. On the whole, we enjoyed the holiday very much. Which one? W-H-O-L-E or H-O-L-E? Which one? whole on the whole so on the whole would mean for the most part when people go on vacation they say so how was your vacation or how was your holiday my holiday for the most part or on the whole w-h-o-l-e they enjoyed this one h-o-l-e is when you dig a hole in the backyard or when your dogs dig, dig a hole in the backyard Okay. What about this one? We're going to choose from the pictures given to complete the sentence. Okay, these are the two. There's only one word, but they have two different meanings. Michael blank from his chair. So we know this is a rose, right? So here we go. Michael, rose, from his chair. Did you get it? So rose means he sat up, okay? So remember your synonyms. So another way to say Michael sat up from his chair, you can say Michael rose from his chair. The rose is a beautiful flower. So now you know the answer to this one. See, the rose is a beautiful flower. Alex buys a new, what are these pictures? They sound the same, but they mean something different. Alex buys a new, did you guess it? Watch, okay, this is his watch on his wrist. Well done, everyone, congratulations. I hope this was a great quiz for you and you learned so much more about homonyms, 
homographs, and homophones. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, bye.